So did any of you guys play with the, uh, oof. Did any of you guys play with the, um, Tekkit in your spare time, or is it something you just like to watch? The pros do. Yeah, because I'm a pro, man. I'm a pro. I'm going to go get that appetite. I have no idea what appetite will get me. Or if it's any special, or if it's anything worth even getting. I've just noticed that it looks a bit like diamond whenever you, uh, whenever you mine it. So, makes me think it's special. Or at least, you know, not awful. Can't fully distinguish tin from silver yet, but I think that's tin. Might not be that important. Again, don't know what silver is used for. Ooh, Christ. We're all very noobish at this mod, as you can probably tell. I think that's half the fun, though, is that, you know, we're getting to learn as we do it. This isn't polished. It's not a uh, mod spotlight, as you could probably tell from the beginning whenever I was trying to showcase those mods. Um, it's a uh, it's a mod playthrough, I guess, but with little bits of tutorial aspects to them, you know. When I learn something, I'll I'll do my best to show you guys what it's like. I think what we'll do is we'll... I think this is silver. I might be completely wrong. God, this pickaxe seems to have quite a far reach. This is a massive vein of whatever the hell this is. I'm going quite far, aren't I, really? Hmm, maybe that's silver. I'm going to torch this up because as soon as I take away this uh, lava, it's going to get hella dark in here. Something I always forget when I'm getting rid of lava in my single player playthroughs. Uh, by the way, if any of you are watching, that is still on the go. It's just that, uh, oh my god, that last project really took it out of me. And I kind of got almost bored of it, tired. To be completely honest, I, I got a little bit bored of it, I guess. And... Um, Got any dirt or anything? I don't want to use that marble. I kind of like it. That's okay. We'll be able to dig around to go around that. Um, and I and I knew that if I just kept playing at that time, that it would be it would be it would it would. Oh, God damn it! It would be. It would be boring, you know, guys. So I didn't I didn't want that. Uh. dig under this to save this. Um, I didn't want that, I wanted you guys to enjoy it and in order for you to enjoy it I have to enjoy it because if I don't you'll hear it in my voice and uh, yeah it just won't come across as well so yeah they look distinctly different I think I was being a retard with regards to silver ore yeah <laughs> yep that's good to know right okay cool so silver, silver looks silver looks more like lapis and tin looks more like iron. And when I say it looks like lapis, I mean the actual texture of it. Is this redstone? Yeah, you can tell it's redstone when you because it it's got particles. Um, I mean, it looks also you can tell it's redstone because it's red and it looks like redstone. And there's no reason just to think it's otherwise. But um, I'm not really trying. I'm, I'm trying not to leave anything to chance in this playthrough. Uh, uh, I imagine that if I get confused by things, you will as well. Is that a slime or a zombie? That is another big tin. If it's a slime, that's cool because oh, I'm with, I think we've given ourselves quite a few slime balls. But uh, be good to know that this is a slime chunk in principle. There's silver. Right. And more copper. So yeah, that th my 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 playthrough, the garden or whatever you want to call it, is uh is still on its way. Um, I've recently started playing it again, which is really good. I'm the, I, I'm enjoying it again, which is great. Um, for those of you who don't know what the, what project I'm talking about, you're free to go look 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 at it. Um, but to give you a brief summary, I was basically doing a massive 
excavation and uh it really took it out of me it was huge as well it was i did a big i did a big circle i guess um uh, somebody commented uh left a suggestion for it. They, i think they called it something along the lines of the sink which i really like i like the name the sink um especially if i'm going to be doing it out of a white uh white wool and glass which i think i will be doing out of uh, maybe some iron bars if I could if I if I decide to make a um, an iron golem farm which I'm still debating because I haven't found a village yet so uh, uh, as, as of as of today I haven't found a village so um, and also I'm not 100% sure if it's an exploit or not I mean it's definitely an exploit but I'm not 100% sure if I'm comfortable with uh, with, with comfortable with the exploit uh, for those of you who don't know you can basically I mean you probably do know because I think uh, the Augs cast did a quick video on theirs. Is that diamond? You know what? I'm gonna mine that. Or you know what? I'm gonna leave that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna mine that just to make sure that it is diamond because I said, oh, more uranium, that's cool. Oh, see if I get butt fucked by another freaking creeper. Just to make sure this is diamond. It looks like diamond. That's diamond. Now, you can get refined or is it refined diamond or industrial I think it's called industrial diamond which I'm kind of excited to make because who the hell doesn't want to make diamonds you know three bits of uranium now, I wonder if I have to enrich that uranium because if you have done any uh, any physics at school will know what that means uh, what is down there it's a slime isn't it yes Slime and obsidian. So this used to be la oh oh I've got I always forget they actually are harmful. Come on, little baby slimes, you're not harmful. I'll, I'm just gonna leave you there. I'll get the silver and what else? I think we can go home then. I think that's a fairly good haul. Um, well, you know, I'm gonna take a quick explore down here. I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of m a little bit ahead of myself. Oh, I missed that appetite. You know what? The the frequency of that appetite is making me think it's not nearly as rare as I thought. Um, which is totally cool, obviously. But uh, I'm gonna get it anyway because you never know. Maybe it is. Maybe I've just been incredibly lucky. I love these mods so much. Uh, but yeah, if maybe you've been thinking, oh well, girl, if you haven't been doing the, uh, if you haven't been doing um, your Let's Play, uh, what have you been doing? I don't know why I've given you all that voice. But, uh, well, the truth is, I have, the truth is I have been very busy. Uh, I've been busy with both with Minecraft stuff and, without, and with non-Minecraft stuff. Uh, but obviously you guys will only really be interested in did, did you just see that? Did, whenever I had finished that torch and it depleted from my inventory, another one filled it. That is so cool. Is that like part of the mod? Is that like clever inventory or something, is it called? I don't know. It would make sense. It's a really cool idea. God, is that the only ten? Ooh. Copper seems to be a bit more like cool in that it's it's like a surf more of a surface. Or I believe. Um, I mean, obviously you can still find it down here, the same way you can find coal all the way down to the to the ground. But um, extra uranium is that gold? I'm pretty sure it's gold. Let's just take some anyway. I think I'll throw it away if it is gold. Yeah, Let me just put that there. Um, did that delete it? I think it deleted it. No, it's not. It's still floating there. Anyway, whatever. Um, did I get that appetite that I was looking for? I didn't, did I? Man, see what if you talk. Just give what was that? Oh, was that cobble? <laughs> I wish the sound of an item falling into the water wasn't the same as the sound of a mob falling into the water because they are distinctly different in size. Um, and every time that happens, I will have a miniature heart attack without doubt. Without doubt, it's just going to happen. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to that noise. 
well, there's more uranium, so coming down here was well worth it for the uranium because I think Nepte is really keen to make a nuclear reactor, which is definitely something which I think will be our end game uh, focus. In fact, uh, so one of us had the idea, I can't remember who, I think it might have been me, but I'm not going to claim it if it wasn't. Um, don't go too far, Gareth, you're going to get lost. I uh, had the idea of... Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can make a nuclear bomb per se, but you can definitely make a nuclear reactor which overheats and explodes. Um, now, I think it would be wicked awesome to uh, to make that in the uh, in the end, and see if we can use it to kill the Ender Dragon. Uh, is it the slime that broke its bones, or is that? Come on, come get me! Stupid. Because, yeah, I mean, it'd be. I re This is something I want to do for my single player world. I want to crown the Ender Dragon. I want to do it in a one hit kill. Uh, in my single player world, I'm going to try and do that with a um, TNT. Which is going to be very hard because, uh, yeah, uh, t they will obviously destroy the TNT if they get too close. Oh, more uranium. Awesome. They'll obviously destroy the TNT if they get too close. They'll destroy all the redstone. So uh, I'm going to probably try it out multiple times in creative to, just to see if it's even possible before I give it a go. Um, ooh, uranium on top of emeralds. Nuclear emeralds. Uh, and But obviously if we do that in the uh, in this, it'll be significantly easier in terms of explosive power because we've just got all these more explosive options and we've got things that are much more explosive than TNT. Uh, yeah, they might make it a bit more of a challenge. I mean, even though uh, they've died multiple times in our to the Ender bust, it's still a bit easy, to be honest, killing the Ender Dragons. So, uh, something that gives it more of a challenge, but gives it more of a twist, gives it an industrial type twist that's in keeping with this mod would be really cool. So, uh, I think that would be a really cool challenge. So what was I talking about? Yeah, stuff that I've been doing. Uh, it's already been announced, so this is no like not like an official announcement or whatever. But uh, do you know the uh, mob games that you've seen on my channel? Uh, if 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 any of you have gone through them, well, they are two prototypes of what of a whole series of mini games that I was calling and making into a map called the Mob Games, which is still being made. And it's getting a lot of progress at the moment, actually, because it's been rebranded, uh, and it's now the Yog Olympics 2, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know why I didn't come up with that idea sooner, because it just will help it so much. It'll, it'll. When it, when we when I made the Yog Olympics uh, one, like I never thought that it would be as successful as it did, but as it was, but it was so successful guys you've no idea and it like somewhere the map itself is some, some is in the region of has had in the region of like a hundred thousand downloads now which to me is just insane because it is it's a multiplayer map for a start <laughs> so you know i don't really know why you would download it i know i'm being stupid here mining straight up but i don't really care i don't really know why you would download it because uh it's not really any fun unless you're playing with a friend um, but yeah, a hundred thousand people have done that and uh, theoretically enjoyed it. And uh, obviously, the videos have now accrued. And again, heart attack. <laughs> the videos have now accrued somewhere in the region of nine million views aggregate, so all together, nine or ten million or something, which again is just blows my mind. And uh, I remember, obviously, I was watching all those comments all the time. <laughs> Whenever we were, uh, whenever a video just came out, because, well, whenever you create something, it's really cool to see what people think about stuff. So, um, I remember everyone was asking for it to be an annual event. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, but, uh, it's looking likely at the moment that it'll probably be out in a couple of months, which I think will mean that it does sort of happen at the same time, you know, next year, or whatever, at the same time, uh, natural end to this ravine is pretty cool because it gives me a reason to go home 
uh, it'll happen more or less, you know, on the anniversary, as it were, of the last one, which is pretty cool. Maybe, maybe it will start to come something that's annual or whatever, which would be pretty nifty. Maybe, some, maybe more regularly. Who knows? Um, and also, it's it, it'll give me good practice. It, it allows me to work with the Oxcast again, which is fantastic. Um, I didn't have a channel then, uh, so hopefully I can get a bit more. Prom maybe I can get some promotion for my channel from them, which would just be insanely cool. Because uh, then, you know. I, w I would love to get a partner. It would be really awesome. I've got, I think I'd, it would be something that would be really cool. But uh, we'll see. That might not happen. And that's not why I'm doing it. You know, I'm doing it because I enjoy it. If I end up making a little bit of money out of it, that would be fantastic. But um, it's much more because I enjoy it. Um, yeah. Which reminds me, I should start. I should set up that donation page soon. I don't know if if that's something any of you guys would be interested in, but it would it would certainly help me out a lot because um, I would love to keep playing more uh, Minecraft, but unfortunately it's very limited to, to by what I can afford and stuff, and uh, at the moment I'm doing quite a lot of singing in order to try and make money because uh, that's, that's one of my main sources of sort of part of part-time uh, self-employed income is singing. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a singer. Uh, I'm a classically trained singer, and I do quite a singing for church, quite a lot of singing for churches and stuff. They pay me, uh, they pay me pretty well to like sing on Sundays and various different other days and uh, concerts and solos and that nonsense. So uh, yeah, but obviously, um, <laughs> the more time I do that, the more time I can't dedicate to Minecraft. Um, and not just Minecraft as well. This is a, this is a, um, my channel is called Things to Do with Video Games and. Uh, I will not just be doing exclusively Minecraft content. It'll be other video games, but it also won't be just playthroughs of video games. Um, I definitely have a lot of ideas for some animations and some songs, and uh, yeah, I would love to be primarily known as uh, somebody who just makes video game related content. Sometimes that's going to be let's plays, but sometimes that's going to be uh. I wonder if this is a spawner. It'd be nice to get a spawner because then I can make an XP grinder because that's something we won't be able to get. And enchanted items might be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if there's like anything specific to the enchantments in the mod. Uh, did I come this way? Man, see torches? They always bum me up. I think I this, this looks very familiar. Yeah, I died here, didn't I? <laughs> I'm outside again, which is good. I wonder what time of day it is. Hmm. God damn it, Gareth. Ugh. Right. Let's go. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. Being able to do this more regularly. I will never do this full time. This is only ever going to be a hobby. Um. It would be a bit foolish to try and do this full time whenever I've got a career ahead of me in medicine. Which, you know, is obviously great and I love that. Um, but video games, pop culture, video game related content, songs, drawing, animation, building, being creative, all that stuff. It's like the best hobby I could ever possibly imagine. Uh, doing Minecraft and uh, has, has taught me so much. It's unbelievable. It's let you know. It's made. It's allowed me to learn logic, electronical engineering logic for a start. When it comes to redstone, I never knew anything about logic gates, and now I do, and that's cool. Uh, helped me learn about computers and how they run, and the importance of RAM and the difference between it and stuff, and and why Minecraft needs so much RAM. <laughs> oh, hello there. So close to home, you were planning on spoiling my party, were you? I see you, dickhead. You know what, I'm going to smash you in the head with a frickin' hammer. Take that. I wonder what these pink flowers are. It's stormy, isn't it? I'm looking forward to getting back home. Right, this is good. This is good stuff. Right, so. In my home. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set spawn here. Just in case I die. That This should be where I spawn again. Um. 
but I might make a bed just to double check that. But let's go through my loot, shall I? Oh, who's that texting me? Let's get some wood for a start to make another chest because that chest is full of crap. Uh, right. And then I'll end the episode shortly after. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ba 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 ba. Two chests. Awesome. Right. Uh, did I collect that sign afterwards? That would be useful. Yes, awesome. Right. Um, I might just expand downwards, you know. Make a second floor. Well, I'll. I see you, buddy. I see you. I'm not going to let you in. <laughs> uh, if I. If Whoa. If I expand, I'll expand later. So let me just put this here. Why can't I put that there? Ugh. Right. Where will I put it? Um. Put it down here. So yeah. Put, put the new stuff in here. And then... What will I call it? New ores and shit. Oh. Is there an Enderman in here? No. Right, so we've got 47 tin. No. Six quite a bit of tin. Uh got some gold which I will delete. There's no need for that. Uh got some rubies, got some emeralds, got some sapphires, some appetite. Put that diamond there. Got some marble. Got some uranium. Got some nickelite. And got some silver. And got some copper. So that's good, guys. I think we've, uh... Is that everything? That's good, yeah. So, what I'll briefly do is I'll just look through all the rest of the stuff that we haven't yet to find using this amazing mod. Oh, there's so much. Let's look at all this crap. How am I ever going to find all that? Oh, sapphire block. And em ah. Oh, I can make a sapphire block. I'm going to do that. Just because I'm sure it'll look super cool. I think I can do that anyway. Let's see if it's... Is it four? No, it's probably nine. Oh! And I'm going to put it... Here. Just to annoy everybody. <laughs> I'll put my sapphire back. Uh, I wonder if I can make an app appetite block, actually. I'll try that. Just look at the rest of these ores, see if I can find them, everybody. This is called too many. I think, is it called too many items or not enough items? Either way, there are too many items. <laughs> so there we go. Ruby ore, got that. Emerald, got that. Sapphire, got that. Silver, got that. Tin, got that. Copper, got that. Tungsten, didn't get any of that. And I wonder if I missed that, because it looks black. That's quite possible. I wonder if I just thought that's cool and moved on. Nikolite got that. Basalt, I don't know where that is. I think you craft that. Cool, right. Wonder if that's all the new ores. I think so. My god, this mod is massive. Right, so tungsten. So we need to go back for tungsten. And probably for more of that stuff, I imagine we'll need more. Uh, I'll mine this back up again. Can I split this back down again? I always, I've never actually, yeah, I've never actually done that, you know. Made blocks. I've never had enough of anything to make blocks. <laughs> well, I have, but I've never bothered. So I think we'll leave it at that, guys, for now. Uh, when I, when I return, um, we'll go through what they're used for, what their uses are, but I need to read it up on that first, obviously. And then once that's done, Hopefully, maybe Dave and the other guys will be back, and and then we can we can keep on going, and we'll go through the uh, regular let's play. But thanks to all of you who've come and watched this from uh, from Dave's channel. If you liked it, it would be really good if you can let me know. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is just click the like button. <laughs> if you liked uh, that and the other time I got bombarded by a creeper, uh, that'd be really useful. Um, but no pressure. Uh, and if you want to see more of these Let's Plays uh, and more of my actual Let's Play and then more of um, 
actually some what you might be interested in is that there on this channel there'll be definitely a couple of sneak previews of the Yog Olympics too, if that's something you're interested in. Uh we've made what six six or seven prototypes of games now, and I think it'll be maybe a ten or a twelve uh game map. Uh and it's looking really good. It is definitely gonna blow the Yog Olympics one out of the water, both in terms of game design, uh and uh yeah, everything. So and 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 just general design in general and how it looks. It's gonna be really, really awesome. I'm really, really proud of it. So yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna see some of that stuff, just be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll see it as soon as I get it up here. So you yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye now.